full disclosure, I know what's about to happen. I know the games for the most part. I think I missed a couple of them because of work, but I, so with the iPhone <clears throat> and Twitch, you can do this thing where when you leave the app, you have it in the corner. So I had this tiny little thing of E in the corner over there and I could kind of see E and I could kind of see the games. And I was at my desk and then on the slight occasion, I would tap into it, type real quick and then minimize it. So that way, because everybody in my office don't know how to not be nosy. They'd be looking over every time at everybody's screen. I'm like, just let people live, dog. <laughs> no, my worries. So I just have it minimized over there. So I want to see this on a goddamn computer screen. I want to take in all the glory. We're going to probably pause here and there. I'm going to try not to pause, but like if we do, it's probably just to like rewind back or like to check things out on the side to see if there's any other information on some of the games, because there's one game in particular that's in here that I'm very much like, I need to know if this is a remake or if this is a brand new game altogether. And so when we get to that point, we'll find out and we'll we'll take a little look at that. Let's do that over again. There we go. <laughs> not a Beyblade. What do you mean not a Beyblade? You know, we got to let it rip. <laughs> oh, man. So we were right on Pokemon yesterday when we were predicting things in chat. We were like, there's probably going to be something Pokemon related, but I was like, I couldn't remember what. And then someone spewed out DLC. I think it was Leash. I was like, you know what? You're absolutely right. So go chat. <clears throat> uh, Omar, what? What's happening here? The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Now, which one gets the turtle, though? Because I want the turtle. And that's all I care about. I'll play until I get the turtle. And that's where I stop. I don't care about beating the DLC. Violet. That's crazy. That's crazy. Just tell me you hate me, Pokemon Company. I have Scarlet. <laughs> <clears throat> Carmine. <laughs> he said... <laughs> That she had the Bayangs, and I was like, those are not Bayangs, those are Bay Dangs. <laughs> Mad cheesy, I know. <clears throat> Spice, what's going on, dog? How you doing? <laughs> she wanted popcorn, but we don't have any more popcorn. Who don't want no popcorn? Oh, man. The loyal three Pokemon. So three probably legendaries and then the two main legendaries for each version. Is that what we're getting at over here? Nah, grass on your toe. Come on now. Super full after eating. Hope you're doing well. Ooh, what was for dinner? Not you being fake watching this when you watch it this morning. Uh, Sir Felix, if you were here 10 minutes ago, no, nope, because I'm going to pause it now. I'm making you look stupid, son. I said exactly that. I watched the shit with each channel, and then, God damn it, I just said, yeah, whose fault is that for assuming? You. Get your ass to Taco Bell and get yourself a quesarito, fam. I'm sick of the shit. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Felix, what's going on, dog? How you doing? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no freaking way. Soulful, thank you for the 13 month three submarino. Enjoy your emotes and most importantly, enjoy a little bit of the bubbly out here. I said I watched it on a tiny ass little screen on my phone in the corner over here at work because everybody want to be nosy looking at my phone over my shoulder and my laptop and what I'm working on whenever I'm at work. So I saw things. If I'm squinting, 
<laughs> oh man so i'm like i want to see this on a big screen i want to actually see what the hell is going on because like i'm doing work listening to it and like peering over every now and again and then typing when i can so we know what's gonna happen i just want to see what's going on i want this damn turtle that's all i care about honestly i don't care about the story i want the damn turtle Hello, everyone. everybody ragging on how ugly that turtle looks i love that turtle that tortoise whatever you want to call it wiccan what's going on blue what's going on 24-hour pokemon stream i can't even get it the it's on the violet version and i have scarlet version i'm upset <clears throat> can't even can't even big old snorlax i saw centret in there too or whatever the the form before it was more details on this schmidt we're sol in the future and after today's nintendo direct a special event will be held in pokemon scarlet and pokemon Violet. oh i didn't catch that hope you'll participate in it well your terror raid people let's see that's all jomar right there <laughs> oh man superstars <clears throat> And it's funny too because does anybody remember if when they showed this during uh which conference were we watching we were watching one of the conferences when this showed up and maybe it was playstation i think it was playstation maybe and <laughs> i'm I'm not sure if they showed the Nintendo Switch logo on there, but there's always this weird thing of like Nintendo not having their logo on other people's conferences. And then they wait to do this. <laughs> it's like, I was pretty sure this was going to be on the Switch, <laughs> but here we are again. Regardless, I'm picking it up, but oh my God. Joe, we're lock are we locking in on this one? We're locking in on this one. But yo. Felix, local co-op. Are we getting this on Steam? Because I'm I'm trying to play with people. I'm not trying to play by myself. You feel me? Four people. We gotta get that Steam co-op thing to work. Or else it's GG's. It's GG's, dog. It'll be the first time I ever mess around with that function, but I'm here for it. Cozy life is just around <clears throat> Steam might be the motion, dog. I got my Steam Deck. I'm ready. Singularity 6? I didn't even know there was a 1 through 5. Life Sim out here? <clears throat> oh, man. Other residents in online co-op or carve out your blissful <laughs> life solo. And if you're eager to explore, two seconds, y'all. Life beyond the village. Oh, Jesus. Set off on a vast journey to uncover as many mysteries. Or just kick back and relax at home. How you live is entirely up to you. What kind of coziness will you choose? There we go. Me, you, or the or uh, and either Dre or E, not both, because I can't sign up for this bootleg Triforce nonsense. Damn, that's crazy. That's wild. E, if you're here, can you believe he said that? That's crazy. He don't want all three of us together with him. That's wild. That's wild. Everybody's gonna be fighting for tails. <laughs> At that rate, I'll just be Amy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <clears throat> you versus tails e for tails he said you'd be amy and i'm crying yeah i'm just like i'm gonna be amy dog like i'm gonna fuck <laughs> just be ready to be sick of my ass oh man Triple threat. From the Persona series returns, no. I do like that they're making a tactical one because I feel like that's the only other thing that they haven't done with this with any of the Persona games, right? They've done rhythm, they've done fighting, uh, they've done uh, a Musou game, and now they're doing a tactics game. Dog, 
what haven't they done with the series now at this point? <laughs> They're gonna need to make a platformer now and a Metroidvania, like, and a shooter. Dude, have the main guy right there, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness farm sim sorry i gotta pause it farm sim would be nuts dog how would i mean hold on in all fairness in all fairness persona games got the relationship scale that's enough simulation right there like i'm gonna count that one that's not the soundbite i wanted you know I <laughs> yeah, Persona 5 Scramble is the name of the Muso. I know I pronounced that wrong. This looks neat, but you lose me when you say roguelite. I just can't. I just can't. This is a Dre game right here. <laughs> as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, this is a Dre game. <laughs> this is a never a doubt certified certified classic dog this looks like gunfire reborn omar are you gonna get on this they did have farming in four and five. Oh, wiccan there you go <laughs> oh man tell me why kof 15 just went crossplay today blacksmith are you getting on Oh man, the concept looks neat, but I was just—I'm just like roguelite. You'll lose me. I—I I lose all interest at that point. I ignore it. Oh yeah, man. R.I.P. Splat, Splatoon, and Splatfest for me. I bought the game. I played it for a few weekends. R.I.P. Dog. My time went everywhere else but Splatoon, and I was fucking hyped, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh man a survival horror one would be nuts hunter what survival horror persona <laughs> uh i lost all my money in puerto rico i'm not buying no games omar what were you doing in puerto rico first off like <laughs> hello were you seeing one of your 42 wives was that going on over there <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> you don't want to know. I don't think I want to know. Live footage of Puerto Rico right now. We were, we're out here splatting each other. That was it for Splatoon? That was really it for Splatoon. I didn't know it was that short. Okay. And now I got stupid excited for this. It's so goofy. And then I found out this was actually a sequel. This is actually a sequel, dog. <clears throat> Tim Goodman, Pikachu, you two are the ideal detective duo. So we gotta finish the 3DS one. We gotta finish the 3DS one. Uh, so much for my coffee. Something tells me this is just the beginning. I need this in my life, dog. <laughs> what is he doing to that Growlithe? Hey, yo! for my coffee something tells me this is just the beginning a light roast today huh i'm gonna need a gif of this on repeat stat why ludicoro <laughs> is my boy we go back <clears throat> Freaking Mewtwo out of nowhere, dog. And that's Omar's Pikachu, not gonna lie, dog. I'm not gonna lie, Felix. This is you and I in the game, dog. <laughs> this is you and I in a game. <laughs> Causing you all levels of stress, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Watcher, what is going on, dog? Oh, man. Yeah, no, we got to finish the 3DS one. I started playing it when it dropped. I got the big old Pikachu, det uh, Detective Pikachu emo. Uh, emo. Amiibo. <laughs> that thing is massive. It's like that, dude. 
This is nuts. We all collectively goddamn lost our minds. When I saw that pop in, I was like, no, there ain't no way. They're just announcing an SNES port. Duh. Oh my god. Nah. This is great. You know, I I wonder if this is on the same design. Like the cutscenes look like they're straight from Smash Brothers, dog. But the the design of the characters makes me wonder if they did used whatever they used for Link's Awakening. Because that's what this reminds me of. And I love that. They need to do more of that. If that's the case. Hey. 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 My boy Mallow. My boy Mallow. Hey. My boy Gino. I still can't believe they did it, dude. Now actually seeing everything. Oh my god. It's so awesome. Ah! And then you do the little Yoshi racing. Oh man. One of the seven stars. Let's go. Gino looks so good. Bowser looks so good. I can't believe it. They actually I need a pause dog. Like Super NES. Super Mario RPG returns with brand new graphics. I love this still. Uh, Why not take the opportunity to jump into the very first RPG in the Mario series? They really said, no, nah, you're not getting the original on Switch online. <laughs> hold up, hold up. What did I miss here? <clears throat> I wish I didn't get spoiled on this. Dog, Felix. Oh, man. Did, yo, did everybody hit you up about Super Mario RPG, dog? Oh, man. You know we got to go back and play the original before this one drops. Ugh. Just say the word and we'll disappear. Damn, that's actually wild. What? <laughs> they could have ended it here and would have been a great direct, right? You know what's crazy, though? As as hype as the end is, I honestly would have ended it with that. That's like the only change up presentation wise. Do you know how nuts like the Internet was already going bonkers at that point? I flipped over to Twitter the second that trailer ended and everyone was losing their goddamn mind when that by the time the trailer dropped and i was like yep sounds about right that game is about to sell gangbusters who said the switch was dead dead who said the switch was dead what's happening here um it hit me up about it uh and uh and one that comes later and i was like man damn that's actually nuts and also not you calling <sighs> I know what you're referring to. That's crazy. That's wild. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Is FF16 tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow, dog. Tomorrow, midnight into Friday. It's it's right around the corner, dog. Uh, he said it was dead. Dude, I would have never thought that they'd actually do a damn remake to that damn game. That's like almost too good to be true. Like Square and Nintendo are like good after these last like few generations for sure. Or like over these few generations for sure. But like, dude, still would have never thought they'd come to terms on fucking Gino and Mallow. Because I think both of them are Square characters. And yeah, th there's just like a whole, this is a hot mess with Super Mario RPG. So this is awesome to actually see. Like, you don't understand how much that game put a smile to my face. When I when I beat that game and got the game's ending dog, I was I like you saw it happening and everything like that, but like, god damn it. Like that shit brought me to tears, dog. It's such a good game. It's such a good game. Let's take a peek.
Does this mean Chrono Trigger is more likely? Well, Chrono Trigger is just straight up square, but like you got, and what's crazy is Akira Toriyama still does like art design for some of these characters for Dragon That's Quest right. and everything like that. Princess you would think, the main character in a brand new game. but I don't know what's she going on with that. Particular spot on stage. Huh? Whoa. What on earth is happening? <laughs> That's all we'll show for now. We'll share more <laughs> that was the weirdest tease that they ever showed. Hey, we got a Princess Peach game. All right, moving on. <laughs> oh, man. It's only a matter of time before one drops on the Switch then. Because this is the only Luigi's Mansion I never played. And I own it. I have it on my 3DS. Both games will launch next year. Oh my God. Princess Peach. Bro, this one was good. Like I should just play it. <laughs> I have the damn 3DS capture card. I should just play the game, huh? You would think. I honestly am waiting for them to bring Ever Oasis off the goddamn 3ds that game is so good yes i've only gotten halfway both times i played the game on stream but it's a really solid game it's a really 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 solid game like i thoroughly enjoyed the fuck out of ever oasis <laughs> play it right now dog don't wake me i might i might i just might i'll find a way to get street fighter 6 on my 3ds just so we can play ever oasis Entrance. Dark Moon was my first Luigi's Mansion. Was it really? Oh man, Winter, what's going on, dog? This is such a weird announcement. <laughs> it's the port of all three Arkham games. Do they even have the other one? I missed it. Or is it just the initial Rocksteady trilogy and not Origins and Blackgate? Those are the other two that are in this series, right? <clears throat> Over my dead body. From Mario to Batman, right? The transition was real stark. Not them spoiling the game. Brother, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Batman Arkham Trilogy. They just put the whole y'all saw the game right there. There you go. <laughs> oh my god i didn't even notice that peach's dog i was like wait a minute hold up <laughs> they damn near showed the endings of all the games like what am i oh rocking the kid to sleep dog of the hit board game features turn-based card battles with rpg elements Unleash deadly combos damn they really saw bat and kaitos get its release for the switch and said we gotta drop a card game rpg that's really what just happened here <laughs> oh man I'm talking about Luigi's Mansion. What? I'd play Luigi's Mansion on stream. I'd do it. The second one is literally the only one I haven't played. How they got all three Arkham games running is beyond me. I mean, those were all 360 games except for Arkham Knight, no? I mean, it's also like um, Alien Isolation. Alien Isola Isolation was a PS4 game. They got that running on uh on switch and apparently it's gra it's graphically better than the version that dropped when it initially came out on the ps4 24 hour just dance stream for you omar i'm ready to see it i need to see those dua lipa hi hips go the <laughs> switch can run a, a lot uh if the people porting care exactly the only thing that's uh that's an issue is like unreal 4 in general is just notoriously known to run not so well on the switch 
but some people have gotten a lot i mean look at doom and doom 2 for instance they had that shit running near automata uh come on oh uh, there's other games uh skyrim of all things jesus christ silent hope lies in a world without words this is awesome this means i actually have to play the first one i have it <laughs> it's on my switch doom eternal running on the switch is crazy right there's a couple of uh developers that have done some a really good job porting games over Mo listen hold on i'm gonna pause it real quick mortal kombat 11 it's not the greatest looking game but neither is any of the other ones that i just mentioned that shit ran buttery smooth we did a full playthrough of the story of mortal kombat 11 on this channel when that game dropped on my switch because i was determined to be like no i'm buying the switch version i'm gonna prove that this works and it worked day one the whole thing just fine mortal kombat one's gonna be fine <laughs> tell him joe yo i'm just saying i'm just saying dog people in certain discords i'm in are mad persona 3 remake isn't coming to the switch i was you know what i i'm not upset i'm surprised that they didn't last minute like with this direct i was almost expecting that to show up because nintendo does that weird thing where like they don't acknowledge a game is coming to their console unless it's in one of these damn directs if it's a big game like <laughs> did the alan wake pork uh port work out i didn't buy it so i don't know but is that a streaming one isn't the alec ga are the alec game wake uh, games on the switch streaming or are they actual games on the switch silent hope it didn't exist until Nintendo say it say it exists, right? Sparks will fly in these Nintendo Switch games. Mm -hmm. Cast spells and cultivate your best life in Oh, I missed all of this. Another farm simulator. Yo, my farm simulator peeps. Y'all are thriving this year, dog. This is like the fourth one. They really said, hey, Stories of Seasons is coming out. Decorate your space to improve your stats for the day ahead and enchant your friends locally or online in four player co-op fay farm launches as a console exclusive on potato Nintendo i mean omar what pre-orders you know that's showing up right up there right now on Nintendo e -shop. <laughs> i apologize everybody that's gonna watch this on youtube afterwards oh, oh this is what e said jo this is jelani's game it makes sense now <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense now i did watch jelani play hot wheels and i will say i was thoroughly entertained <laughs> yes and i'm loving it farming games let's go watch her yo i know you are all up in that and the rune factory games dog yo y'all gotta teach me y'all gotta teach me looking classy in manic mechanics Oh, and now I understand what E said about Dre and Jess. This is definitely a never a doubt uh, special. <laughs> this is 100% a never a doubt Wednesday special stream for sure. <laughs> Overcooked with cars is nuts. That's literally what this is. Overcooked but mechanic sounds fire. Yo, Omar, are you picking this up? Introducing the second paid DLC for Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Damn, it's the way I have this game. <laughs> Mario and friends journey to a musical. <laughs> I even played the initial story. New areas to There's DLC two. New enemies to battle. The first one is amazing. I really like the first game. <gasps> King Babam. The last Spark Hunter launches later today. DLC today? God dang. They wasted no time on that. Okay. Okay, Ubisoft, I see you. Wait, but why didn't Ubisoft say anything about that? Did they? Did I miss that? This. Okay, this right here. I got stupid geeked out for. Let me tell you something. We played the original on my Game Boy Advance. Um, no, we did it through my GameCube, actually. We did it through my GameCube on a GameCube player. We didn't finish the playthrough, but we got hella far. Dragon Quest Monsters. I'm going to explain this in a little bit and what this is, dog. 
to become a monster wrangler. God, there's so many iterations of slime in this goddamn game. Dude, I have been clamoring for the port of... <clears throat> because the Dragon Quest Monster games from the Game Boy Color are on the Japan eShop. Okay, so this has to be the Dark Prince. This has to be a new Dragon Quest Monsters then. Because freaking when I was like, is this a remake? Is this a new one? Uh, the Dark Prince. I want to look this up real quick. But uh, we played the fir very first one. It's the only version that I own. But on the Japanese eShop, they do have a port of the other two monster games on the Game Boy Color. And I'm like dog this is this is amazing is i was hoping that this was a remake but i'll take a new game altogether i freaking love that game as a kid dog as an alternative to po it literally it's pokemon stadium meets digimon with the fusing of the monsters slash pokemon breeder uh, and also JRPG because you're literally going through all these different dungeon. Uh, I would say dungeon crawler uh, because you're going through each individual dungeons to get things. But then you're also trying to get these monsters on top of it. And you, the way you get the monsters is usually to try to like have to feed them in order to get them onto your side. So you're not catching anything, but like you're feeding them different things and not all the time will that work so sometimes like you'll beat them up and then they'll come back and it's like hey i want to join your party sort of thing so there's there's so many different things that you can do to get the monsters to your party and can you bring can you explain breeding oh yeah you make them fuck you know you know sorry i meant to do you know but there you go uh <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I can show you exactly what they do. Where's the Pikachu? Pikachu can show y'all. Right here. Mingus, Pikachu can show you. Demonstration right here. Right there. That's how that's how you make a a monster. Right there. <laughs> Let's get back into the madness over here. Okay. Uh <laughs> What's the problem? Mingus, how you doing, fam? What's up? <laughs> Why did you have that ready? Because I was at least able to see the little screenshot shit. <laughs> Yo, life begins at 8-bit. What's going on, fam? I thought you made monsters by putting CDs in my PlayStation. Not the Monster Rancher, dog. Please. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Monster Rancher. Oh my god. Chipmunk, what is up, fam? Is that a giant pickle? <laughs> it's the only Dragon Quest game I almost actually beat. <laughs> oh man. You know Monster Rancher is on the Switch? The original one? They ported it. <laughs> they did a remaster of that game. We randomly saw it on the eShop. And it's on my birthday, dog. It's coming out on my birthday. Come on, man. Nah, it's about to be the best birthday ever. I'm getting this game. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo. Trying to convince Hamish to let me uh, open what he got me in, uh, like less than an hour into my birthday. Oh. <laughs> Yo, the countdown begins or wait, is it your birthday or right? oh, wait, I'm confusion. <laughs> Dragon Tre uh, Quest Treasures is so underrated. I need to pick that up. Dude, that like the side, all the side story Dragon Quest games seem so much like fun. Because I have Builders 1 and 2. I love the hell out of Builders 2. It's so good. There, you'll meet plant-like creatures called Pikmin. Here we go, Pikmin 4. Where are my Pikmin heads at? Rescue pup, Ochi. Good uh, excuse me. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, Wait, is it officially your birthday, Chipmunk? 
and save. Hold on, we gotta do birthday celebration after this one. All right, let's explore. I look let's like a that. Pikmin head? Nah, I'm actually that tail behind uh Otachi. Ready for action. Ochi? Is that his name? I'm actually the tail. Pikmin is actually legendary, Potato. Get ready for some trauma though. Yeah. Dude, things can go down south so quick. Pikmin 3 was my first Pikmin game, so I'm super excited because I did not get to buy Pikmin 1 and 2 before the Wii U shop drop uh shut down because I was gonna buy those and do playthroughs of those. Um because I really, really wanted to try those out. There you go. But um, I'm glad those are coming over. So literally every Pikmin game is on the Switch, dog. <clears throat> a whole ass SP out here? Hello? Ochi is actually just Poochie from Yoshi's Island. Different environment awaits. Tell me otherwise. Can't tell me. Can't tell me I'm wrong. Native creatures. Oh. And even more treasures are around every corner. This is so neat. Unexpectedly find some oh. Castaways. Not Olimar. Looks like him. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. This leafy individual just nabbed the castaway. You've got to stop him. Boom, 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 boom. No, not the other dog battle. stealing homie. Hello? Embrace the art of Dandori by strategically oh, man. commands to your Pikmin and Ochi. Collect more objects than your opponent within the time limit. No, I still got to do the Olimar DLC castaway. for Pikmin 3, dog. It's crazy. I double dipped on that game. I bought it on the Wii U and the damn Switch. What's wrong with me? Which is right next Granted, the Olimar DLC wasn't on the, on the uh, Wii U version. New skills. Oh, we got level ups going on over here now? Or build new equipment oh, I'm not ready for this. Dog, this game was already stressing enough trying to keep my Pikmin alive. You can eventually out for night expeditions. <laughs> Dog, what? <There's> <laughs> I don't need this level up convention. <laughs> so stay alert. <laughs> Please. Oh no, not the Blood Moon. I can I have a game without a Blood Moon? which only appear at night. Nah, son. Get me out of here. I'm already stressed. So use glow Pikmin to drive them away and protect the luminals. Son, what? They made a survival horror Pikmin game. It was already a horror game. Now it's a survival horror game. What the hell? Nah. Can't wait for creepypastas surrounding the glow Pikmin, right? Into the night, the glow Pikmin came out and stole my mother. Like, dog, what? In past Pikmin games, you had to return to your spaceship before sundown. However, in this latest entry, you can now... Yo, Silver, so, Silverstone, what's going on, dog? We hope you can lead the Pikmin on your nah, he's launching them, dudes. They like chupacabras, yo. <laughs> Zero, what is up? Glow Pikmin are all the players who couldn't beat the game is nuts, Zero. What? <laughs> but hold on real quick before we get into the rest of this we got we got i got something for for a secret hold up hold on hold on we gotta play the special song i got something for you happy, happy birthday. birthday happy motherfucking birthday happy, happy birthday, birthday. All right. Happy motherfucking birthday. There we go. There we go. There we go. Secret happy birthday. Can we spend some happy birthdays in the chat, fam? Can we do the damn thing? I'm just going to play this in the background right quick, and we're going to keep on going with this direct. <clears throat> Leash, fam. Oh, yeah. Shoot. I got to check the eShop. My wallet's about to drain. Pikmin 4 will be available on Nintendo eShop on June 28th. Oh, June 28th. We're playing that demo. Even if you've never we got to. Pikmin series before. So we hope you'll try it out when it releases. Ain't no way. Okay, let's see a few more <clears throat> <clears throat> Nintendo, it's our wallet now. They got direct 
payment from my bank account. This is cool because this is the first time this game is dropped outside of PlayStation, dog. This compilation includes Metal Gear Solid Infiltrate. That's huge. And even part Island. No, not part two. Part two was on like Xbox. So Sons of Liberty. Locate and retrieve a deadly amphibious weapon. This is Metal dope. Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. I still want to play the 3DS version of this game, but like if it's dropping, dog. You can also enjoy the games that started the series. Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2. Oh god. Snake as well as the nes versions of both metal gear and snakes revenge but wait aren't the nes versions of those games like notoriously impossible to beat first metal gear solid digital graphic novel and its sequel like isn't there a bug where you can't beat that game or am i wrong books with story and character info strategy guides for each game and a digital soundtrack oh this is so cool Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Volume 1? That's like most of the games. <laughs> Imagine we get Metal Gear Solid 4. Metal Gear Solid games will also be 5 on streaming. On <laughs> One has so many games. They're just missing VR missions, really, out of the, all of that. That's nuts. That's nuts. coming to Nintendo Switch. Do you have okay, twin stick shooters. Of this is like if Castlevania went twin stick enemies. shooter right here. And attack automatically with your weapons. Seems easy at first, right? But the Steam Deck killer app is finally on Switch, please. Oh my god. By getting treasure chests from <clears throat> enemies. Or by leveling oh man i would consider psp games like the so volume two season. probably right peace walker together in couch co-op what other horrors lie in store metal gear solid four or five whatever else came out <laughs> survive i guess Music vampire survivors was the number one game played on deck for five months after it launched Really? Pigeon. Yeah, you heard that That's right. Play online in this rhythm battle royale and aim to be the last bird standing. Up to 30 players can ruffle each other's feathers in musical mini games. Copy the leader's actions perfectly in Yes Commander. Fire a slingshot to play music in First Piano Shooter. Race and fly to the rhythm in to the sky and more. With over 20 mini games, you're in for an impeccably good time. Get ready to shake those pigeon tails when Headbangers Rhythm Royale bops its way onto Nintendo Switch October 31st. Okay, I missed that one. Um, ready, I set, might need that. <laughs> <laughs> I might need that. A chaotic audition that veered way off script. She's managed to make some powerful enemies. And oh my god! In this 3D platforming adventure from the team behind Sonic Mania, you'll explore the bright and colorful world of Macaroon. Okay, it makes sense. Yo -yo the this is so the Bionic Macaroon. Commando with the yo-yo swinging. Acrobatic tricks to avoid Eddie's massive horde of pushy penguins and power up yo yo to it's the penguins Eddie from mario foul play you can also put your speed running skills to the test in time attack mode to unlock it's so items. goofy i want it <laughs> wait a minute big break after all take the stage penny's, penny's big, big breakaway, breakaway hold up i might need to keep an eye on that next and it's the sonic mania team that's wild i was like private division why do i know that Oh, there we go. There's wave five. I, all I know is my boy is in here. I seen through it. My boy is here. The dynamic duo is officially in Mario Kart together. Let's go. Get him in there. Get him in there. From Mario Kart Tour, Comet. My boy! 
My boy made it. My boy made it. Wave five of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Felix E, I'm putting y'all on notice. Get me in the training room. Get me off of Lobby 200 Street Fighter 6. Enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased. Nah, nah, we're pausing right now. Pausing right now. E, Felix. Y'all get me in the training lab, all right? I want to go pro in Mario Kart. Let's go. Kamek, that's my boy right there. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Blue, what's going on? Let's go. Let's go. Fateful encounter. A remake of the second Star Ocean game, complete with new graphics that fuse 2D and 3D, is on the way. That's such a cool way that they did this. Federation officer Claude is stranded on an undeveloped planet. That is such a cool way that they did this. I had to play the first one. Or mere coincidence. I have it on my Switch. The two get entangled in a sinister plot within the galaxy. In this science fantasy RPG, this game always has like 42 different endings, though. It's so daunting. Excuse me. You'll also meet over a dozen See, I already got to play the game twice. Two different life. perspectives. During your adventure, the hero you chose and the decisions you make will have an impact on who can be recruited to your cause. The enemy is it? What is this? Uh, Frontier and Saga? And skills can be performed with a single button. Oh, see, that's actually cool to see not on a tiny little screen over there. enemies with chain attack. This is like them trying to be 2D HD engine. Letting you map out strategic Just play it forever forehead. It'll be the only game I stream for like a year, dog. An ancient prophecy will unfold and your destiny will be awakened. Save the planet. Yeah. Star Ocean the second story R launching on Nintendo Switch. November? Nah, November about to be stacked. The winter is about to be a problem for me, dude. What? Mario style. Winter is really about Get to be a problem. Micro game mayhem in the latest WarioWare game. Nah, if someone walked into the room and seen it like that, that would have been very odd. Action. That's what E was saying about the wiggle. Lightning fast micro game. It makes sense now. I wasn't looking. React quickly with the right move, and you'll be on the road to victory. Hey, let's go. If you've got two pairs of controllers, they got the Lonnie move in the game, dog. Sync up your action. Y'all ever seen Jelani dance? That's his move right there. That's his move. Across various mini games in party mode. For example, let's go. Damn, why they thick though? Get your body moving in over 200 lightning fast micro games. Ew. In oh yeah, no, absolutely getting this game. It's WarioWare. Bro, that's two days after Star Ocean. What's happening here? Not thicker than a snicker. Oh man. We call that replay value around these parts. Koizumi we cheeked up, right? No reason at all. That man cake. You prepared for this moment. To share. Families can join the fun. Uh, Seattle. Get your booties over to New York City. Enjoy live performances. Take photos with some of your favorite characters. Oh, never mind. This is like the new, the Nintendo store anyway. <laughs> we got it already. Eligible attendees can also compete in on-site <laughs> tournaments and participate in a last chance qualifier. <laughs> Tell them again, Joe. <laughs> He's moving like those floaty things in, in car lots. The wacky inflatable tube men. Oh my god. Warrior can probably be played alongside Star Ocean. Dog, imagine. <laughs> trying to wiggle while you're trying to battle. I can do it. <laughs> Please visit the official website. Was that Chris kids. Pratt? Oh, I didn't even catch that. <laughs> a vast number of players 
are enjoying their time in Hyrule in the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Watching E's face go from DLC to Amiibo. <laughs> Oh man. The figure of Link from the game was released to coincide with the game's launch. New amiibo of Zelda. That uh, that uh, are planned to be released this holiday. Dog. If you're looking forward to them. They really said, "Hey, some of y'all are still okay. playing the game and need to beat the game. Joe, we're looking at you. We're not going to unleash anything until you beat the game." So just get these amiibos for now. So that's my fault, y'all. That's my fault. I gotta beat the game. Wait, that was the flower talking? Wait, great super. Is there a ranking on how good you hit these enemies now? Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, never mind. It's towards like getting the one up and stuff. They're just actually showing it now. They got the Dante system from Devil May Cry now. <laughs> Not him peeking through. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Not this being all chaotic. <laughs> this looks cool. I saw a part of it. I just mostly heard E's commentary at that point. We were talking about Mario taking shrooms, I think. Oh, they got the little Super Mario 2 type joint over there. Well, the US 2. That's cool. Man's a spike. Okay, so I guess the name of the game in this one is different power-ups that are going to change you into different things. Because we saw the elephant at the end. I remember that. Mario on acid is wild. Weege. Peach. What the? Why are y'all chasing that poor little gopher? Screaming for his life. There ain't no way. The facial animations is wild, dog. <laughs> that was cool. They had almost like the 3DS type joint where like someone was up closer on the screen while everybody else was in the back. Oh, hey. Why he's so big? Nah, bonsai bills don't need to be any bigger. Why they why they got missile bills now? Missile Williams? <laughs> Not the fake toad looking dudes. <laughs> oh man. And Daisy being playable is huge. I don't know who I'm gonna be. Am I gonna be stuck with uh AOE? Can I be Daisy? <laughs> <laughs> My man punched the hell out of him. That was the brand new Same day as Spider-Man 2, I know what I'm playing. <laughs> I know where my money is going. <laughs> that was an easy choice. Or you might turn it into something different, for example. There were also flowers talking. Daisy is playable. Damn, Daisy's strong. A lot of things happen. Ah, yo, he we'll flung him with his freaking trunk, dog. That was great. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you. Nah, that was great. I still think the highlight was Pikachu trying to get on Growlithe and looking like he was humping him. I think that was the highlight for the stream, for the, uh, <laughs> for the Direct, dog. <laughs> no, but this is huge getting metal gear solid specifically metal gear solid one because metal gear solid has not left playstation for anything the last place you can get that game un unless it's on the freaking like playstation plus thing for ps5 now is literally a ps3 and i don't even know if they put it back on the psn shop or not no idea but i guess konami kept their word they did say they were bringing the titles back so there we have it. We actually, we actually managed to get them back, which is huge. <clears throat> there we go. Joe, why would that be the highlight? Why not? Pikachu just humping some cheeks, dog? Some Growlithe cheeks? You know what I'm saying? You never seen two Pokemon breed? Come on now. It's normal. It's perfectly normal. It's the only world where 
different species of different Pokemon can actually mate with each other and create either one or the other type, you know? <laughs> Chipmunk, it's a long story. <laughs> We getting a 2D Sonic game and a 2D Mario game around the same times. This is the 90s again. I I am here for it, dog. I am here for it. Now you have to buy the HD collection uh to play it until that drops. No, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until that drops because I'll I'll pick that up on Switch absolutely for damn sure. I honestly didn't see that coming. Like that was I I, I was like, you know what? Snake Eater being the last Metal Gear Solid game that we would get the first and last i want to say since nes we'll take or no sorry since gamecube i'll take it because twin snakes twin snakes still thing which makes me wonder what if volume two has twin snakes on it because they did say that this was volume one what if what if and when a volume two comes out they actually managed to because i know that that was a licensing thing that nintendo published and it was done by silicon knights and r.i.p silicon knights like that was it for it but what if listen if re remake finally made it off of the gamecube after like 10 plus years onto ps4 ps5 ps3 <laughs> xbox 360 there's hope there's hope that that game makes its way off of a Nintendo GameCube and onto current gen consoles. There's hope. I'm gonna leave it loose like that, but who knows? At least we're getting that. I'll take it. I'll take it at fast face value for there. Oh man. And breeding in front of my morning tea, baby mage. What? That's absolutely nuts. There's always hope, right? You know, you know, I'm like, um, oh my God. What's her name? Uh, <laughs> uh, Forget it. I can't remember anymore. Scarlett Johansson's character in the Marvel movie. Black Widow. I'm like Black Widow right now. Trying to give hope to, uh, um, I almost said Archer. <laughs> Hawkeye. <laughs> oh my God. I like where your head was at, Omar. I was like, wait, it's Black Widow. Cause I almost said Scarlet Witch. And I was like, no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> Lana, Lana. Danger zone. <laughs> but nonetheless, I think that direct was good. It had a lot of a little bit of everything for everyone. That's what I like about these directs. They just have a little bit of everything for everyone. You're not going to like everything from beginning to end, but there was definitely some variety there. There was a lot more sim stuff this time around than I'd noticed in the past. So farming sim fans are eating good on this one. And like we got some first party titles for the fall and potentially stuff for next year luigi's mansion too like i think we're in a good direction we're gonna see a lot more remasters going forward and like the, obviously the one or two new titles for sure they still haven't even said anything about prime 2 yet and when that's dropping but odds are that's got the way prime 1 made bang uh gangbus gangbusters on both digital and physical like i think it's safe to say we're gonna get a prime 2 at some point it's just a matter of when not if but good direct overall.